Today I'm going to make a vinyl decal for my car using my Cricut machine. And if you're new to Cricut, this is a great first project to do. If we're just meeting right now, hi, my name is Nisha. Welcome to Little Craft Nest. The supplies you'll need for today's project are a Cricut machine. Now, it doesn't matter what Cricut machine you have, if, whether you have the Joy, the Venture, the Explore, it really doesn't matter. You'll also need some good quality vinyl. I like using TechRap vinyl, and I do have a link for that in the description. You'll need some light tack transfer tape, or you can use contact paper, and that's what I'll be using today. You'll also need a weeding tool and a squeegee, so let's get crafting. First, we're gonna open a new project in Cricut Design Space, and then we're gonna head over to Images, and I'm gonna search the word gas and scroll down a bit until you get to this design right here. And if you want to search for it by number, the image number is right here and I will list this image number down below in the description of this video. So I'm gonna click add to canvas and then click view. And here's our image right here, but I have to quickly run outside and measure where I want to put this on my car. So I'm gonna put it on the little gas cap or gas flap. I'm not sure what the proper word is, but let me go measure that and I'll be right back. So my gas cap is six and a half inches. I was just outside measuring and my neighbor was wondering what I was doing. He thought I was measuring for a new gas cap, but I told him it was for a sticker. He thought that was hilarious. So let's get back to making the sticker. So I want to make a template so I'm able to size my decal. So I'm going to go over to shapes and we're gonna select the circle and I'll move it over here and then go up to size and we're gonna size this to 6.5 inches. And that's the size of my gas cap and my car is blue. So let's change the color to blue. We're not actually gonna cut out this circle. This is just gonna give us an idea of what the finished product will look like and it will help us size our design. So I want to bring this over top, but it's going behind. So let's go over to the layers panel, grab your gas gauge layer and move it above the circle. And now we can put our gas gauge layer over top of the circle and we can size it down to the size we need it to be. All right, that looks pretty good, but I don't think I'll be using black vinyl for this project because I don't think it will show up too well on a blue car. So I'm actually gonna change the vinyl color to white. So if we wanna get an idea of what that will look like, we can go over to our layers, click on that arrow beside the gas gauge layer so you can see both of the layers from that image. So we've got our black layer and our red layer. Go ahead and click on that black layer. And then I'm gonna go over to colors and I'm gonna change the color to a light pink. So I'm going over to the advanced option and let's go over to pinks. And that's close enough to the color I'm using. And then for our other layer here, the red layer, I think I'm gonna do a bright, shiny pink. So maybe something like this. So this just gives us an idea of what it's gonna look like. We don't need this circle anymore, so you could just go over to the layers panel and press the I to hide it, or you could delete the layer if you wanted to as well. Now all we need to do is click on make. So you'll notice we have two separate mats here. We've got our light pink and our dark pink mat. And so we could cut our design out on two separate mats, but we could also cut our design out on one mat. So I'm gonna show you a little trick here. So go ahead and click on that dark pink mat. Above our image here, click on those three dots and then click move object and then click on that first mat and click confirm. Now that image has moved over to our first mat, but we're gonna move it over to the opposite corner. So when we put our vinyl on our mat, we can put our light pink vinyl on this corner and our dark pink vinyl on this corner. This is just gonna save us time and we won't have to load two separate mats. So once you've done that, go ahead and click continue. And we're gonna select our material. So we're gonna be using premium outdoor vinyl, also known as permanent vinyl. Make sure your fine point blade is loaded. That's the blade that came with your machine. And we're gonna load our mats and get this image cut out. First, cut your vinyl down to the size you need. Then I'm gonna take this light pink vinyl and we're gonna place it on the top right-hand corner of the mat. My mat is losing some of its stickiness, so I find going over it with a brayer is super helpful. 
Now this light pink vinyl from Tech Wrap that I'm using has a protective film over top of it that I need to remove before I begin to cut. Not all of their vinyls have this, but some do. So make sure that if you're using this type of vinyl that you do remove that protective layer off first. Then I'm gonna grab the dark pink vinyl and we're gonna put that in the upper right hand corner. Once you've got your vinyl on your mat, insert it into your machine and let your machine cut out the design. When your machine has finished, peel your vinyl off the mat and we're gonna weed out these designs. This is a fairly simple design to weed out, but still take your time and weed this out slowly because you don't want to lose any of those gas gauge marks while you're weeding this out. So I think I'm gonna layer these images together before I take them outside. You could layer them directly onto the car, but I kinda wanna do this beforehand. So I have this piece of contact paper. Contact paper is basically shelf liner and it's sticky on one side. Kinda like transfer tape, but it's usually a little less tacky. So you can use transfer tape for this, just make sure it's a low tack. I like using contact paper for delicate surfaces and I don't wanna remove any of the paint off my car, so I figured this would be a good option. So I'm laying the contact paper over my dark pink vinyl and then grab a squeegee and scrape that on and then peel off the carrying sheet. Then I'm gonna to try to line up this dark pink vinyl with the light pink vinyl. If you're not really sure how your pieces go together, go back onto Design Space, look at your image, and make sure you're placing the pieces in the right spot so they look proper once you stick the decal onto your car. I miss covering the top of this decal with some transfer tape, so I'm just gonna grab some scissors and I'm gonna cut off the bottom of this transfer tape piece. I don't need this piece at the bottom. And then I'm gonna stick it on top so that top piece is also covered with transfer tape. So once you have it lined up and it looks like it's in the right place, go over top of that again with the squeegee. Now it's time to make my way outside and apply the decal to my car. The first step is to clean the area on your car where you plan to put your decal. I like using soapy water and then just let it dry and it should dry really quickly, especially if it's warm outside. For this decal, because it's small enough, I'm peeling off the whole backing sheet and then I'm reapplying only half of it to the image. So I only have the backing sheet on half the design. This is gonna help me line up my design before committing to a place. You could also use the wet method, but when it's hot outside, your car dries rather quickly and it could be tricky to use the wet method. Once your design is where you want it to be, just use your hand and rub down the one half of your vinyl decal and then remove the backing sheet fully and grab your squeegee and gently push the rest of your design onto your car. And then just go over your design a few times with your squeegee before peeling back your transfer tape or your contact paper. And that's it. That was super easy to do. For more easy to follow crafting tutorials, hit that subscribe button. And for your entertainment, watch these bloopers at the end. And I hope to see you on more crafting adventures. You'll also need a weeding tool and a squeegee. I you did to your car, Mama. Okay, just a second, I'm recording. <laughs> she scared me. Oh my God. <laughs>